thanks for joining us. We're here in the Sony booth. I'm here with Rick. Welcome, Rick. Hi, Paul. Thank you. Um, first question, uh, Sony did some recent research that found that asynchronous work has become the prevailing trend in kind of recent times. I just wondered if you could talk about how you think intelligent features such as AI can help integrators kind of implement this for their clients. That's a very good question. So obviously hybrid working, but also hybrid education is part of our society. Uh, and I think AI is not just a buzzword. It's, you know, for us, it really means something. So what actually we've done, and a good example is our camera technology. We have a camera, we're building artificial intelligence with an uh, algorithm, which is actually tracking the person who's being filmed by different points, but anticipating movements. And by doing so, we have the smoothest available camera, which is actually allows you when you're following a class from home or when you're actually uh, following a meeting from home, you can see the presenter whenever he's moving smoothly all the time. Oh wow, because it can kind of, it knows where they're going or it can exactly. track where they're going. Yeah, and it will also not be disturbed by anybody else moving in front of the camera. It will continuously follow the person who's presenting oh, all the time. So presumably that cuts down on things like jitter as well, because they're, they're, you're Completely. kind of Completely, 100% to... smooth as if you are there. So that's the whole point, right? To have an announced communication, not, oh, I'm hybrid, I'm not actually really there. No, you are there, because you're literally following the speaker constantly in the middle of your screen. Wow, fantastic. Yes. Um, on to the next point, really. I, you know, it's obvious from this show's and other ones that it was gradually moving towards a more sort of software orientated AV world, which is a really interesting move for companies that have traditionally you know, built themselves on hardware. Um, I just wondered, with the move to more software, does there, there comes a demand from integrators for more kind of open systems. I just wondered what the Sony approach to that was, because not, not, I'm not talking about Sony specifically, but other companies traditionally have always liked to lock you into their system and exactly. they won't work with other yeah, ones. What's exactly. the Sony approach? Yeah, uh, that's actually, you're correct. Um, we are explicitly not trying to lock in our partners into our platform or Excellent. Eastern world. So, <laughs> We are delivering the state-of-the-art technology from a hardware perspective. We deliver the best anti-reflection screens available in the market to deliver the best picture quality. At the same time, from a software perspective, there's excellent companies available in the market, but more importantly, customer first. So our customers, if they already work with software, they can use that software by simply making it compatible with our system on chip. It can run from the display. And also super relevant is actually you don't need this separate set box anymore which saves you actually i think it's 12 compared to three components which of course is also relevant from a sustainability perspective so key is indeed an open platform allowing our partners to use the software they like to work with 100 percent sure. correct and, and i believe someone understand is the list of all the partnerships you have with some of your cms providers. that's actually indefinite so we are yeah. actually uh, right now we have 35 recognized compatible partners but depending on our customer needs we can make that work within in the lead time of one or two weeks so any partner can be compatible with our system on chip operating system. Fantastic, that's going to be great, that new, great news for integrators to hear that. 100%, that's, yeah, that's yes. exactly what I want. Um, finally, I, I was talking to a colleague of yours before the, we shot the video, and I was saying you were probably one of the only stands last year to be talking about sustainability. And it was I found that quite disappointing, really, in the whole industry. Yes, yes. Um, it's obviously a big focus. It's, it's behind yes, us now right. for, for Sony this year as well. Um, I just wanted if you could talk about maybe some of the initiatives that Sony's put in place in regards to sustainability. Yeah, what, yeah. What, what are you guys doing? Yeah, for me, it's actually extremely important. So, yeah. of course, we talk about the products and the people who make the business, but sustainability is everything for me. And I'm super proud that actually, from a corporate perspective, we have super concrete targets and we've been advancing them. So, by 2030, we have zero fossil energy. By 2040, we have actually zero CO2 emission. By 2050, we have zero virgin plastic. So, super specific targets. And probably, I can say, best among the bigger brands on this fair also being advanced, but not only from a corporate perspective, but also within our division, we use the very simple make, move, use philosophy. So within the make, we are using less plastics. So yeah. for example, the surplus technology, our developed technology, plastics are 57% less CO2 compared to traditional plastics. When we move it, super simple example, by reducing the box size 15%, obviously 15% less CO2 yeah, emission. Yeah. And when the usage example, it's very simple again, we build in an echo dashboard, which actually guides the customer in how to use the display, and you can save up to 30% of your energy usage. So very pragmatic targets in a very simple framework. Um, but remember, it's not just about echo when you talk about sustainability. So there's the Morgan Stanley rating, eh? ESG, Environmental Social Corporate Governance. Yeah. And I'm actually quite proud that Sony's for the fourth year in a row having a triple A rating, wow. which is actually the best, again, yeah, among yeah. the bigger brands on the fair. So quite proud on that, yes. Yeah, it's, well, it's fantastic to hear a company of the size and stature of Sony really taking this yes. seriously. And I really hope 
more companies are kind of doing the same. And I hope so let, too. Let's hope so this week. Anyway, um, Rick, it's been great to talk to you. Many thanks for your time. Thanks, Paul.